The Kingdom Builder Big Box Edition combines Kingdom Builder the base game, Expansion 1, Nomads, Expansion 2, Crossroads, and the mini expansions, the capital and the caves into one big box. You can play with any combination of these expansions. Let's explore what's inside. The big box edition contains 16 game board sections. Four of these are selected randomly to make the game board. The sections are double-sided, a terrain map on one side and a scoring track on the other. Each board has one to two unique location hexes. Location tiles are placed in these hexes, and when a player builds settlements up to or around a location with a tile, the player acquires that tile. These tiles convey a special ability, shown on the back of the tile. Location summary cards are also placed around the game board for all to see what special abilities are possible to acquire during this game of Kingdom Builder. Special abilities collected remain with a player for the duration of the game. The exception to this rule are the Nomad Tiles, which are collected in the same way but are single use only and come into play when using board sections from the Nomads expansion. Some of the abilities on both these tile types affect the building of settlements and others allow for movement of an existing settlement. Here are some of the location tiles and their abilities. There are 13 Kingdom Builder cards, and for each game you draw three. These three cards identify the conditions for earning gold at the end of the game. There are also six task cards that come from the Crossroads expansion. For each Crossroads board section in play, place a task card next to the Kingdom Builder cards. Completing a building arrangement indicated on a task card earns players gold at the end of the game. The genius of Kingdom Builder is in its simplicity. A player has a single terrain card to play each turn, so your placement choices are simplified. I have a grass terrain card, so I can build my three settlements in grass terrain. But there is a constraint. A player must build each new settlement adjacent to at least one of their own existing settlements if possible. With one terrain card drawn per round, it quickly becomes clear that reaching the goals on the three Kingdom Builder cards and task cards, if in use, can be quite challenging. Acquiring location tiles to gain the special abilities they provide can help with a sticky situation. But even with location tiles, the adjacency rule is always in play. The City Hall location tile from the Crossroads expansion allows for a different sort of settlement placement. This tile counts as seven settlements, but still must be placed according to all settlement rules. In the Nomads expansion, we have stone walls that can be built by players with a quarry location tile. The stone walls are used to block terrain spaces. In the Crossroads expansion, there are the warriors that enter the game when a player has earned the barracks location tile. A warrior prevents building and movement in all adjacent hexes around him. Additionally, from the Crossroads expansion, we have the wagons and boats that allow players to start settlements almost anywhere, breaking the adjacency rule. The catch is that when placing your wagon for land or boat for water, they must first be placed next to an existing settlement. On subsequent turns, you can move your wagon or boat up to three hexes, then remove that piece and place a settlement in that location. In the case of a boat, the settlement is placed on land adjacent to the water hex. This can come in handy for getting to a terrain type you may not have a terrain card for. For the Capital Mini Expansion, a capital is added to a harbor or oracle board, changing the castle into a capital. The capital generates one gold for each settlement within two hexes from the capital. The Caves Mini Expansion introduces caves to the game board. Caves create links between settlements. Placing a settlement next to a cave allows a player to place a settlement next to a different cave hex, suitable for building and adds another possible terrain that a player may expand to on his next turn. With so many different map layouts and scoring condition combinations, you will always have a fresh experience. The best-selling and award-winning Kingdom Builder is a wonderful game to enjoy with family and friends.